Okay, I want to talk to you about the subject of date rape drugs that were administered in my childhood. I've actually said this on numerous tapes before, but I see you've cherry-picked certain tapes to where I leave out details like this and go, see, she's wrong. I've actually said this like three, four, or five times before, depending on where you're filming. You would have heard this multiple times now. But as far as do I know the exact substances that were used on me as a child to rape me? No, because rapists don't normally wake you up and give you a list of the shit that they're going to do written down with proof. The only drug that I feel confident on saying is the antihistamines because the effects so closely match what I saw and because knowing that my dad has OCD and would never have six boxes of something that he doesn't even personally use put hidden in plain sight. I know how my father is. This thing was hidden in plain sight in a cabinet unto itself, but in the kitchen near other things that are readily used. I would definitely confirm antihistamines were used, however, not every time. Now, they were also administering, I believe, by needle, and I have several re reasons for thinking that, including cover-ups of it to the feet, whatever that means to you. I don't know if placement matters when identifying drugs, but here's what I know. I believe to feet, on occasion, at least when the lady got me when I was three, it was to my back, but it seems to me on mainly feet or ankle area, somewhere around there, um, because... Uh, I, I don't know. I think that because that guy was touching my foot that one time I was waking up uh, and squeezed it on the way out. So I don't, something to do with the foot. But um, uh, the, whatever the drug is, it's multiple drugs now. We're talking, I, I don't know, it's combinations of drugs. But um, so can I identify, is it GHB? I don't know. I'm just saying, for example, GHB. I can't. I don't, why would I know that? I'm unconscious. But all I know is they shot me up with something that get, gives me patchwork memory. However, when it is only that drug, because I've experienced only that drug, it doesn't change your vision of what things look like. And you can actually be perfectly lucid, however immobile. And that, just to explain how the immobile feels, I'm still able to move my neck on multiple accounts that I remember slightly and not, not quickly, but slightly, yes. Um, and on occasion my eyes, um, albeit I think it's a bit hard for me, can a little bit flash open. Um, but I feel unable in all the scenarios to move my limbs or at least to any effective degree. Uh, my body either feels totally paralyzed or very, very heavy and slow. Um, in all of these. And um, the weird part is when the memories are... When I do remember, I, I remember pretty vividly, but when I don't remember, there's long periods of time that I don't remember. I'm just describing the drugs for you. So I don't know it's GHB. I don't mean to mislead you to declare it that. Um, I don't know that. But I, but I will tell you that whatever the sedative um, is that makes you paralyzed does not affect your vision or does not affect your um, ability to comprehend. No, it doesn't do that. It just seems to paralyze you. Um, and then, um, as far as on the gang rape, so that, I believe, was administered, and I think that that same drug was administered because multiple times I was able to get some levels of consciousness. However, there are different levels of consciousness. Uh, I have no, I couldn't tell you how my body got from the living room down all the way, and it's a weird thing to have to walk down the hill to this one spot. I don't, I don't remember that at all. I don't remember how my clothes were taken off. I don't remember that at all. Um, the first memory I have is they're surrounding me in a seance. I'm, I'm believing that because I can kind of sense where they are through the, through the sound. I didn't see it, and it's at that circle that, um, with the stones, okay, which was actively in my house, uh, outside my house for years down sort of scooted off the main path of the hill there and um and uh i from that point cannot somehow three people left and i don't remember that at all and i don't remember the start of me getting raped um, but I do remember the end of it of the first guy because it's a gangbang and then i remember the um pass off from one guy to the next because I thought it was hella homosexual and I believe that I could tell you where I was raped by the second guy I, I believe that that is accurate where he put my body um, but I don't remember the majority of it I can tell you that it was most it was a way more gentle encounter um, is my impression of it but I don't remember the middle or end of that then again I don't know how long people last but um, 
And um, I can tell you that I don't remember my body, how they carried it up from that stone area to the backyard. I don't remember that part. So I was going in and out of consciousness as was. Um, by the time I started to come again too, I was, the difference is I was starting to come, come into seeing what was going on when I was getting raped down below, but it was dark and the guy wasn't facing me. The guard was meant, he was, I believe, told by the other guy because of the way he was standing to not look at the guy while he fucked. Like it seemed like he was like standing guard not to look at him. And so therefore was not looking at me. And that's why it wasn't discovered until I was up where there were a lot of lights from the kitchen and from this floodlight that came on in the in the backyard that comes to this motion sensor. Okay, we're right in in where that sets off that motion sensor. So um there were lights and that's why I think it was so easy for them to spot that I was waking up but also I kind of moved I remember moving my neck a little bit and then seeing the girl and then seeing the two guys under the tree she then and I don't remember her starting um, I also want to note that everybody is clothed um, though I think they're not wearing underwear or anything underneath and the women wear different things from the men which is why it seems like dissonance to you it's not dissonance the men have different uniforms than the women the men wear sort of almost like a monk kind of black robe thing and the women wear it's like dresses with a hood they're all black though so it is a different uniform which is why sometimes I say witches and sometimes I say monk it has to do with what they're wearing man or or woman um, and um, and the, uh, the, when she discovers that I'm waking up, she freaks out. She starts shouting to the guys. Now, at this point, I can't tell you, um, I can't, I can't, I, all I can tell you is the impression of things. I, this is my impression of everything. Because I, I was drugged at the time, coming out of consciousness, I was in shock from waking up to realize that, I've just been raped by two people and I'm getting raped by a third and I'm about to get raped by two more. So it's a very high stress situation in a situation where you were not at all, you were sleeping in your living room and why would this be happening? So there's that degree of shock. Um, but also, um, I, I don't remember verbatim what was said. I don't believe that anyone directly said chloroform, but why would they? I'm saying it was something like chloroform because there were three people handling my body and I knew to try to fool them I had to keep my eyes closed so all of this is happening multiple hands are on me I'm having multiple they're handling me kind of roughly at this point to prop up my body to put a rag in my face and that did happen I'm kind of rag in my face um, but I don't know that the rag is what knocked me out it could be and I don't remember I had my eyes closed so I don't remember if they poured something on the rag or there's something already on the rag I don't know I also don't know if they additionally didn't shoot me up with something for some reason and I'm not exactly sure why and this is where it gets a bit weird um, but I'm just telling you my impression is that um, in one pocket is death um, and in the other pocket is something to knock me out I can't tell you why I have that impression but on one of the guys the first guy that got to me for some reason I think it's in his pocket I don't know why I think that um, and um, and I also um, so that made in my mind's eye made me think there are additional needles. Now it could be that they put a rag in my face and then shot me up again. I, I don't know because you know a pinprick compared to all the things when your body's already kind of paralyzed and you're getting propped up by multiple people and your eyes are closed and you're in shock and they're putting a rag in your face uh, it, probably there's another needle involved. Why? Because why wouldn't there be? But now you're talking about I was already dosed with something, so it's cross contamination. So things that if you're already on a certain amount of drugs and then they give you, this will have different effects than if you're sober and then they shoot you up, or sober and then they put a chloroform rag or whatever. I don't know. It's chloroform. Um, there are other drugs that could very well um, have. I, I you know I'm not a doctor. So pseudo Fedrin, hydrocodine, um, the other things that are used for these kind of things. And there's like there's like a bunch of others. I actually just lost my page now. But um, there's a bunch of other substances that it could be. I don't know. I'm just trying to describe to you what my experience was. But what I can tell you is that after the... It couldn't have been total the total duration of that, honestly 
couldn't, I don't think it could have been more than five minutes. Um, I don't think so. Um, but, I, you know, your eyes are shut and everything's going on. I don't know. But after that time period where they're doing weird things to my body, I don't remember anything. I've got nothing. So whatever they used was very strong. Okay? 